Let's see. Um, howdy everyone, we're in uh, Colorado, Denver, uh, to be exact. Uh, do you guys know where we are? Cheeseman Park. Um, why, so you guys are from Australia? Yep. And why did you come here? Uh, we've actually just relocated to Denver, um, having a bit of an adventure. Uh, how come? Mm, just have a bit of an adventure, so we just had a three month old. Holy um, smokes. Yeah, and so we had the um, uh, opportunity to come over here, so we thought we'd do it while we were young. Nice. It's really good. Uh, do you guys like Denver so far? Yeah, so far so good. Uh, do you guys uh, have like some um, uh, sort of uh, concerns about your, uh, I guess, fears you didn't have maybe three months ago? No, not really. We've only been here for two weeks, so oh. we're still exploring and figuring it out. Uh, I'm sorry, I meant more like uh, in terms of the baby. Since we had a kid, yeah. has anything really changed? Um, not really, probably just, uh, I mean, we were always pretty careful before. Um, but probably more thinking a little bit ahead because obviously we've got somebody who relies completely on us now. Yeah, and um, I was going to say, uh, just thinking about the future a little bit more probably as well. Have you been to anywhere else in the United States? Yeah, we've traveled all over the U.S. Oh, okay. Uh, what other places? Uh, New York, uh, Los in, Angeles, Yeah, we've been through California, Florida, Texas, uh, Chicago, Nevada, like all San over. San Diego. Yeah, yeah. all over. Holy smokes, that's a ton. Uh, which one was your favorite? Um... We really enjoy Florida, New York. We really like. We were actually considering moving to New York, but it was probably a little bit too busy for us. Yeah, we wanted to be more family-friendly sort oh, of place. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what do you guys? So you guys really like uh, New York, but it wasn't really like uh, kid-friendly as much. Yeah, it's a little bit too hustle, too much hustle and bustle. Okay. Uh, how would you describe yourself in like four words? Uh, what, what was your name again? I'm sorry. My name's Amelia. Amelia. Yeah. And describe myself in four words. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty tough. <laughs> um, Probably thoughtful, um, uh, social, um, warm, and caring. Oh, nice. That's great. Um, I would say probably family oriented. Um, ambitious. Yeah, ambitious and pretty competitive as well. <laughs> How long will you uh, stay here in uh, Denver? Um, probably at least a couple of years, but we'll see. Who knows? Yeah, we'll see how we go. Was the baby born here? No. Oh, so how will you, you guys will do the paperwork eventually and stuff? Uh, so we've both got green cards and she gets one because we've got one. Nice. Um, what do you do? Uh, I was working for the state government back in Australia, but at the moment I'm just looking after Gabriella. Oh, that's good. A uh, lawyer. Wow, holy smokes. Yeah. Lawyer. Um, uh, w so what made you d become a lawyer? Um, well, my dad was a lawyer, so that was probably... Always, I was thinking since I was young I was going to be a lawyer, but um, yeah, like it's something that interested me. Oh. Um, do you guys like value the uh, influence of a, a mom at home rather than a nanny, or it, it, um, is it just a convenience factor at this point? Um, I think it's important, I mean, for the mother to be around, but um, I anticipate going back to work um, when Gabriella's probably about a year old or so. Oh. Yeah. yeah, like pretty similar, like as long as possible if Millie can stay home and look after the child. Um, but yeah, I mean, certain things dictate how long you can do that for, so yeah. Um, and I think the biggest question I had, why are you guys here? <laughs> why is anyone here? It's like 17 degrees. You mean outside? Yeah, outside. Um, to get her to go to sleep. We, yeah, we oh. need so to walk around. Now. So if we walk asleep. around, she falls asleep. So. Obviously the first child. And so, like, uh, very noisy and stuff? Yeah, that doesn't bother her at all. Yeah. Oh, are you talking about, like, the baby being noisy? Or? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't really make any noise. She's pretty good. Yeah, she's, she's a well-behaved girl. Uh, what sort of surprised you about the, um, you know, having a kid? Um, nothing's really surprised us so much. I mean, we try to prepare as much as possible. Uh, I think maybe a little bit, like, the sleepless nights a little bit tough. But otherwise, I think nothing really out of the ordinary. Yeah, she's been a pretty good girl, so it's been an enjoyable experience. Oh. And um, who would you like your child to sort of become? What kind of a person, like a human being, like a per person, like a name? What, like actually to a, like a real person? Yeah. Um, like uh, somebody uh, in the family or a famous person? Yeah, I don't know whether anyone famous. I think more not sort of being, I'd probably be themselves, but like, you know, probably try and take some of the things that we'd, we'd sort of impart on them. So like, you know, the... Uh, importance of family and trying to be a good person, all that kind of stuff. Okay. And uh, you? Yeah, um, being able to be independent and um, 
sort of having a passion and, and following that in her life. Oh, that's good. Um, so, what, what what field of uh, uh, law do you do you practice? Uh, it's just commercial law. It's commercial. Yeah. Uh, which one's that one? Uh, just uh, like uh, businesses. Yes, yeah, so it's like uh, contracts, all that kind of stuff. Like anything commercial, businesses, uh, all that kind of stuff. How important are academics in your life? Uh, pretty important. So I've, in addition to doing my law degree, I've done an MBA as well. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, academics is important, but I think. For me as well, even though I've done like a few degrees, I like I think real world experience is important as well. So not just like being completely focused on academia, like getting out there as well. Uh, what will you guys do to like encourage your kid? Because sometimes they become rebellious to like pursue ac academic uh, right inclinations, right? Yeah, that's interesting because um, Ben here wasn't very academic yeah. at school. I was rubbish at school. Did you like uh, debating or how how how'd you? No, I was like, I was like a, I did nothing at school. I used to like, in Australia we call it wagging, like like getting out of class. I used to like get out of class all the time. It wasn't only, it's was probably so after like, like sloughing. Yeah, whatever you call it here. So um, after I finished school, um, I went back to England because I'm originally English as well. So I went back to England, joined the army, and I think that sort of gave me a bit of a work ethic and and then sort of got me interested in it. But I think also it was more about um, like. See, my parents didn't force me into anything. It was about me, like, finding what I was interested in. So, like, they didn't care. As long as I was working, then it was fine. So, um, like, even though I didn't do so well at school, um, like, after a while, after I got, like, a little bit of worldly experience and I decided, like, this is something that I was interested in and then I ended up doing quite well in, in academics. But if I would have been forced straight into it or if my parents would have tried to force me into, into going to university or whatever, I probably would have dropped out and failed. Um, okay, and uh, what about you? What may, uh, encouraged you? I'm sorry, it's, it's really interesting. I, I'm really interested. Like you guys, um, what um, uh, what sort of got you into uh, uh, working for the government in Australia? Yeah, well, I. Uh, do you like the government? How is the government? <laughs> I like working for the government. Um, not everybody likes them, but. Uh, I hear. I hear it's gotten like uh, Australia has one of like the highest like the Cato Institute has rates it super high in terms of like uh, well GDP they have a triple A rating right and they and they sort of uh, uh, economic freedom. Yeah, yeah, it's a good place to live. <laughs> <laughs> and so you like your job? Yeah, I love it. Um, I've always been quite passionate about sort of environment, and so I got into um, water policy, and I, yeah, I loved it. Oh, water policy, like water cleaning stuff and stuff? Yeah, yeah, and... Um, like that conservation, all that kind of stuff, yeah. and planning to make sure that... Because in Australia, obviously, it's quite dry. Right. So um, where we lived in Melbourne, they built like a multi-billion dollar desalination plant, um, and so what Amelia was involved in, she came into the government after they did that. And it was more about like conserving and being a little bit more uh, like smart with yeah. the water that we've got rather than... Forward planning. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's smart. Uh, especially here in the desert, I guess we can um, sort of um, sympathize with that. Um, so just uh, like four more questions. I'm sorry. Um, what is the biggest sacrifice you would say you had to make in your life? Biggest sacrifice? Um... I don't know. I mean, I think probably the biggest sacrifice I've had to make at the moment in terms of coming to have this adventure is to be away from family and friends. Um, I don't think, I've heard, I think it's probably the biggest. Yeah, I would agree. Like, but like even bigger than like the army or like law school? Um, yeah, well, I mean, I've had to sacrifice time and money to, to go through academics, but I mean, I don't really consider that much of a sacrifice. That's just more of the cost of what it is. Um, I think probably this would be the biggest sacrifice. And how about you? I would definitely agree. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, and um, uh, how would you, um, let's see here, a random question, just two random questions. Uh, what do you think of um, deconstructionism? Deconstructionism, I don't know. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Nothing? <laughs> uh, nihilism? Or? I don't know. Okay, that's totally fine. I ask that to everybody. Uh, have you seen the movie um, Forrest Gump? Yeah. yeah. What did you guys think? It's a great film. Yeah. yeah, it's a pretty good film. You guys are, have seen a lot of the, right? Like uh, some of the sea sites that he jogged through the U.S.? Um, or are you thinking like, oh, Bubba Gum, uh, Bubba Gum like, yeah. like in New York? <laughs> yeah, we've been to Bubba Gum Shrimp a few times. Uh, I don't know whether we've been through many of the places he's run through, but, uh, well, like that was said in the movie, but yeah, it was a pretty good movie. Yeah. Uh, God. Uh, what do you guys think of Americans? I need to ask that. Um, well, I think... Same with everybody, like, there's some jerks and there's some good people. Like, you just got to sort of keep away from the people you don't really like and, and stick with the people you do like. But I think overall, Americans, is no different to anybody else. They're all good. I think they're pretty friendly overall. In Denver, we've certainly experienced it. They're very friendly. New York's a little different. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At New Yorkers. And uh, the final question, um, so 
maybe um oh well okay here's a, the final question um what is the secret to marriage or your strategy um, i think for us is probably more um like compromise and then also um trying to be considerate of one another yeah i would definitely say compromise but um yeah trying trying to sort of think what what the other person wants and try and do your best to to provide that nice Alrighty, you heard it here first straight from denver colorado signing out <laughs>